Your social media is starting to grow and now you would love to level up and start to collaborate with hotels but you have no clue what to do? Well, this video is for you. My name is Sarah Joy from Joyo Shapes and I am on a journey as content creator. Today I would love to share with you the easy step-by-step -step process that I follow to land my very first hotel collaboration and how you can do it as well. Basically, a hotel collaboration is an offer that you give in exchange of a free accommodation, getting paid, or maybe both of them. And just to clarify, a content creator is someone who creates digital content for a specific audience. It could be a travel vlogger, it could be a wedding video maker, or a single mom writer. What these people have in common is that they are all talking to a specific audience and target group of people. And most of the time, hotels, as brand, are looking for a specific target of people to show their products or their services. In the past, they were going to maybe an uh, advertisement company, but today they are a content creator that can create content for that specific audience, and in this case, brand and hotel can save money on photographer, broadcast agency, strategies, because a content creator most of the times do all these things. So. I believe that this could be the work of the future for creative people and it's something that I love to do. If you still want to collaborate with Hotel, let's keep watching. I'm still here. Something we want to think before I start to text to the hotels in general is what we can offer to them. If you like uh, to make a video, you could ask them to create maybe a video for the YouTube channel or for the website. The same things if you're a photographer. Or if you're a blogger, you could write an article for them or maybe you review the word they use inside their website. These are just ideas, but the best part of content creating is that you can really play with creativity and there isn't only one way to reach the success. So at this point, take a piece of paper and write down your skills, your strength, and your weaknesses. You want to make sure that what there is on this piece of paper is the truth, but still, don't be scared of writing down that you are a photographer if this is your passion and you put a lot of efforts when you're taking pictures. At the same time, if you create videos or if you write piece of content for your blog. We always try to push ourselves down, like we are not good enough for this. This is something I struggle a lot, like right now making this video. But I believe that this is the reason why we have to throw ourselves out there in order to create experience. And like this, we will get better and better and better. After you identify what you can offer to the hotel, it's time to contact them. And this is the time where you're gonna create a collaboration based in you creating content for them, as well as promoting them through your online or social media channel in exchange of a free accommodation or getting paid or both of them. Hotel collaboration is also a great way for you to keep in creating content and give out valuable information to your audience. So this was pretty much theoretical, but now I want to show you the practice. When I start to check for hotel collaboration, the first things I wanna do is open an Excel file. I am pretty organized in these things, so I like to have a clear sheet where I can write down all the hotels I would love to collaborate with. In fact, I choose them based on three things. The first one is that they reflect a little bit my weirdo style. I don't feel like collaborate with businesses or tell. I prefer to pitch hotel they're still kind of my same mindset the second thing i want to make sure is that i'm actually capable and able to create great content for them and the third part is that they are close to me because there is still corona and i still got a full-time job so if this is your situation as well you can just ask for a collaboration through the weekend or maybe for just an entire day depending about you in my case i'm still creating my portfolio and for me it's totally fine to collaborate for only one weekend for one night in order to taking a lot of picture and also have some proof that i work with some hotels the fact is that one night hotel collaboration, it took really a lot of effort out of you to create a lot of content. In the future, when I will start to travel full time, I will definitely look for maybe one week collaboration in order to have more time to experience the hotel itself and create better content. After I make sure that these three points are okay with the hotel that I've chosen, I start to stalker them till I will find the special email that I use for PR. Most of the time you won't find the right email right away, so or you have to call them, or maybe you can also try to text them on the Instagram, on Facebook, or just text to the booking email and ask them if they have a PR email where you can submit your collaboration request. 
and after you've been a very good stalker and you find their PR email, it's time to pitch them. In the pitching email, I make sure to clarify who I am, why I'm texting them and what's my plan. And if you already have a particular date in mind that you would like to go in this place, just let them know as well. I don't know if this is right or wrong, but for me it works. I usually put my social media kit in the very first email, so I make sure that they already have it. And if I attach it only in the second email, maybe they won't be really interested to see it. Instead, if I attach it in the first, they already see it and they may be interested. I don't know, that's what I thought. I don't think there is right or wrong. I prefer to attach it in the very first email. Basically a social media kit is a sheet where there is written like the numbers of your social medias and uh, let me know down in the comment if you would like to have a video about how to create one. Something that I also make sure to have into the email which is super important on my point of view are hyperlinks. Hyperlinks are those like link hidden inside a word. What you can write in the email is like see and attach my social media kit and click to reach my website. Then you can highlight the word website, you click on the right button of your mouse and you should find the word hyperlinks and then there you can add the links of your website. And so in this case, when they open the email, they can click on the word website and they will go redirect to your website or social media, whatever. I think this is very important to do because when they already receive an email, full of information about you, which kind of service do you offer and so on, there is much more possibility that they would love to collaborate with you. People usually don't like to ask questions, what do you like to do, what could you offer to them, so it's very important in the first email you pitch them with all the juicy offer and services you can give to them. After all these steps, you start the boring part. You have just to wait. Usually I follow up uh, around five times in two weeks. And after those five times, I write down again a list of 10 other hotels I would like to collaborate with and redo this process over again. So there is no magic trick to find hotel collaboration. It's just basically do your own research based on who you are, based on what your audience like, and just keep pushing your words out there. Some hotels won't answer, some hotels maybe in this corona time will be closed, other of them won't be interested in your offer, but some of them will. And that's the point when you have to answer the question, how? How you're gonna achieve the offer that you promised them? In the second email, I will text them at least three ways that I was thinking to achieve the offer that I promised them. One offer could be one Instagram post, one YouTube video and uh, one stories, or 10 pictures for the brand, uh, one YouTube video, one vlog. I don't know, like this is really based on what you usually create as content. Again, this is all about creativity and just have fun with it. Something very cool is trying to understand what other content creators similar to you are doing in Instagram or other social media platforms. This doesn't mean to copy them, but you really can find inspiration through maybe bigger accounts that you would like to reach one day. Never compare your second step to one other steps of someone else. I'm not sure this is the right quote, but you understand what I mean, right? The important part is that you keep yourself happy and you always like what you are doing in order to also achieve the happiness of the hotels or brand that you are working with. This was the easy process to reach your very first hotel collaboration. I hope you like it. If so, click like thumbs up, uh, follow, just share with friends, uh, this part I hate to do it. But anyway, stay in touch with me because next weekend I will publish my very first hotel collaboration behind the scenes with some tips and tricks you would love to know so you're not gonna panic when you will be on the set for the very first time. See you, um, see you next week. Bye.